Sword and Planet is a subgenre of science fantasy that features rousing adventure stories set on other planets, and usually featuring humans as protagonists. The name derives from the heroes of the genre engaging their adversaries in hand-to-hand -hand combat primarily with simple melee weapons such as swords, even in a setting that often has advanced technology. Although there are works that herald the genre, such as Percy Gregg's Across the Zodiac 1880 and Edwin Lester Arnold's Lieutenant. Gullivar Jones, his Vacation 1905, published in the U.S. in 1964 as Gulliver of Mars, the prototype for the genre is A Princess of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs originally serialized by All Story in 1912 as under the Moons of Mars. The genre predates the mainstream popularity of science fiction proper, and does not necessarily feature any scientific rigor, being instead romantic tales of high adventure. For example, little thought is given to explaining why the environment of the alien planet is compatible with life from Earth, just that it does in order to allow the hero to move about and interact with the natives. Native technology will often break the known laws of physics. The genre tag, sword and planet, is constructed to mimic the terms sword and sorcery and sword and sandal. The phrase appears to have first been coined in the 1960s by Donald A. Walheim, editor of Ace Books, and later of Da Books at a time when the genre was undergoing a revival. Both Ace Books and Da Books were instrumental in bringing much of the earlier pulp sword and planet stories back into print, as well as publishing a great deal of new, imitative work by a new generation of authors. There is a fair amount of overlap between sword and planet and planetary romance although some works are considered to belong to one and not the other. Influenced by the likes of A Princess of Mars yet more modern and technologically savvy, Sword and Planet more directly imitates the conventions established by Burroughs in the Mars series. That is to say that the hero is alone as the only human being from Earth, swords are the weapon of choice, and while the alien planet has some advanced technology, it is used only in limited applications to advance the plot or increase the grandeur of the setting. In general the alien planet will seem to be more medieval and primitive than Earth. This leads to anachronistic situations such as flying ships held aloft by anti-gravity technology, while ground travel is done by riding domesticated native animals. Topic beginnings In A Princess of Mars, John Carter, a Confederate officer and soldier, has taken up prospecting in Arizona after the war to regain his fortune. Under mysterious circumstances, he is transported to Mars, called Barsoom by its inhabitants. There he encounters savage and monstrous aliens, a beautiful princess, and a life of adventure and wonder. Burroughs followed up this first book with several more Barsoom stories, and another series that could be considered Sword and Planet, featuring as hero Carson Napier and his adventures on Venus, natively known as Amter. Burroughs' Pellucidor series could arguably be considered Sword and Inner Planet, as it follows most of the plot conventions described below. Topic. Form Burroughs established a set of conventions that were followed fairly closely by most other entries in the sword and planet genre. The typical first book in a sword and planet series uses some or all of the following plot points. A tough but chivalrous male protagonist, from Earth of a period not too distant from our own, finds himself transported to a distant world. 
The transportation may be via astral projection, teleportation, time travel, or any similar form of scientific magic, but should not imply that travel between worlds is either easy or common. The Earthman thus finds himself the sole representative of his own race on an alien planet. This planet is at a pre-modern, even barbaric stage of civilization, but may here and there have remarkable technologies that hint at a more advanced past. There is no obligation for the physical properties or biology of the alien planet to follow any scientific understanding of the potential conditions of habitable worlds. In general, the conditions will be Earth like, but with variations such as a different colored sun or different numbers of moons. A lower gravity may be invoked to explain such things as large flying animals or people, or the superhuman strength of the hero, but will otherwise be ignored. A Princess of Mars, however, when it was first written did loosely follow the most optimistic theories about Mars. E.g., those of Percival Lowell who imagined a dying, dried-up Mars watered by a network of artificial canals. Not long after discovering his predicament, the Earthman finds himself caught in a struggle between two or more factions, nations, or species. He sides, of course, with the nation with the prettiest woman, who will sometimes turn out to be a princess. Before he can set about seriously courting her, however, she is kidnapped by a fiendish villain or villains. The Earthman, taking up his sword, the local weapon of choice, which he has a talent with, sets out on a quest to recover the woman and wallop the kidnappers. On the way, he crosses wild and inhospitable terrain, confronts savage animals and monsters, discovers lost civilizations ruled by cruel tyrants or wicked priests, and will repeatedly engage in swashbuckling sword fights, be imprisoned, daringly escape and rescue other prisoners, and kill any men or beasts who stand in his way. At the end of the story he will defeat the villain and free the captive princess, only to find another crisis emerging that will require all his wit and muscle, but will not be resolved until the next thrilling novel in the adventures of Topic. Chronology Stories in the sword and planet genre fall primarily into two chronological classes. The first includes the stories of Burroughs himself and his early imitators, of whom Otis Adelbert Klein was the most significant. The second and larger group includes authors who began to write Burroughs pastiches from the mid-1960s to early 1970s. Such authors included Lynn Carter and Michael Moorcock. Except for continuations of the extended Dre Prescott and Gore sequences, and occasional parodies of earlier series, not many new works in the genre have appeared from major publishers since 1980. One notable exception are two books by S. M. Sterling, published by Tor, The Sky People, 2006, and In the Courts of the Crimson Kings, 2008. Smaller presses have continued to issue new works in the genre, though, most notably Wildside Press, primarily through the Borgo Press imprint. In 2007, for example, Wildside, Borgo published a new book in Charles Knutzel's Tor Lohannis of Numa's series, and printed the Tolera trilogy by Charles Allen Gramlich, Charles Gramlich. Topic. List of works What follows is admittedly incomplete, but is a listing of some of the more important and more remembered representatives of the genre. Some of the dates are reprint dates, not date of original publication. Topic: <laughs> Edgar Rice Burroughs. <laughs> 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 
Topic: The Barsoom series, aka the John Carter of Mars series. A Princess of Mars, serial 1912, novel 1917. The Gods of Mars, 1913-1918. The Warlord of Mars, 1913-1914-1919 Thuvia, Maid of Mars, 1916-1920 The Chessmen of Mars, 1922-1922 The Master Mind of Mars, 1927-1928 A Fighting Man of Mars, 1930-1931 Swords of Mars 1934-1935-1936 Synthetic Men of Mars 1939-1940 Lana of Gathal 1941-1948 Skeleton Men of Jupiter 1943-1964 published in John Carter of Mars 1964 together with the non-herb juvenile John Carter and the Giant of Mars 1941 The Amter series aka the Carson Napier of Venus series Pirates of Venus 1934 Lost on Venus 1935 Carson of Venus 1939 Escape on Venus 1946 The Wizard of Venus 1970 Topic <laughs> Alex Raymond Flash Gordon 1934 comic strip film and radio serials movie TV animation Topic <laughs> Roger Sherman Hoare as Ralph Milne Farley Topic <laughs> <laughs> Venus series The Radio Man 1924 aka An Earthman on Venus The Radio Beasts 1925 The Radio Planet 1926 The Radio Man Returns 2005 includes the Radio Minds of Mars Topic John Ulrich Giese Topic Palos series Palos of the Dog Star Pack, nineteen eighteen The Mouthpiece of Zetu, nineteen nineteen Jason, Son of Jason, nineteen twenty one Topic Alexei Tolstoy Alita 1923 Topic Otis Adelbert Klein Topic Venus series Planet of Peril 1929 Prince of Peril 1930 the Port of Peril, 1932, aka Buccaneers of Venus. Topic: <laughs> Mars series. The Swordsmen of Mars, 1933. The Outlaws of Mars, 1933. Topic: <laughs> Gustave Le Rouge. The Vampires of Mars, 1908, aka The Prisoner of the Planet Mars. The War of the Vampires, 1909. Topic: <inaudible> Edmund Hamilton. <inaudible> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Stuart Merrick series. Kaldar, World of Antares, 1933. The Snake Men of Kaldar, 1933. The Great Brain of Kaldar, 1935. Topic: Robert E. Howard. Almuric, 1939-1964 started C. 1936, allegedly completed posthumously by Otis Adelbert Klein. Topic: Manly Wade Wellman. Sohair of Titan, 1941. Topic: Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. Hard to be a god, 1964. Equals 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 Gardner F. Fox equals equals equals. Topic: Larn series. Warriors of Larn, 1964. Thief of Larn, 1966. Topic: Michael Moorcock. Topic: Sojin the Swordsman series, juvenile short stories. Sojin the Swordsman, 1957. Sojin, Swordsman of Zyler, 1957. Sojin and the Sea of Demons, 1957. Sojin and the Plain of Mystery, 1958. Sojin and the Sons of the Snake God, 1958. Sojin and the Devil Hunters of Norge, 1958. Clan the Spoiler, 1958. Deck of Nuther, 1957. Renz Carto of Bersnal, 1958. Topic: Kane of Old Mars series, writing as Edward Powis Bradbury. Warrior of Mars, 1965, aka City of the Beast. Blades of Mars, 1965, aka Lord of the Spiders. Barbarians of Mars, 1965, aka Masters of the Pit. Topic: John Frederick Lang, writing as John Norman. Topic: Gore series. Tarnsman of Gore, 1966. Outlaw of Gore, 1967. Priest Kings of Gore, 1968. Nomads of Gore, 1969. Assassin of Gore, 1970. Raiders of Gore, 1971. Captive of Gore, 1972. Hunters of Gore, 1974. Marauders of Gore, 1975. Tribesmen of Gore, 1976. Slave Girl of Gore, 1977. Beasts of Gore, 1978. Explorers of Gore, 1979. Fighting Slave of Gore, 1980. Rogue of Gore, 1981. Guardsmen of Gore, 1981. Savages of Gore, 1982. Blood Brothers of Gore, 1982. Kajira of Gore, 1983. Players of Gore, 1984. Mercenaries of Gore, 1985. 
Dancer of Gore, 1985. Renegades of Gore, 1986. Vagabonds of Gore, 1987. Magicians of Gore, 1988. Witness of Gore, 2001. Prize of Gore, 2008. Kerr of Gore, 2009. Swordsman of Gore, 2010. Mariners of Gore, 2011. Conspirators of Gore, 2012. Smugglers of Gore, October 2012. Rebels of Gore, October 2013. Plunder of Gore, June 2016. Topic: Philip Jose Farmer. Topic: The World of Tears series. The Maker of Universes, 1965. The Gates of Creation, 1966. A Private Cosmos, 1968. Behind the Walls of Terra, 1970. The Lavalite World, 1977. Red Orcs Rage, 1991. More Than Fire, 1993. Topic: Julius Schwartz. Adam Strange, 1958, DC Comics character. Topic: Richard Corbin. Topic: Den series, a comics character featured in heavy metal and other publications. Neverwhere, 1978, 1985, 1991. Movovum, 1984, 1991. Children of Fire, 1992. Dreams. 1992 Elements 1992 Topic Mike Resnick Topic Ganymede series The Goddess of Ganymede 1968 Pursuit on Ganymede, 1968. Topic: Charles Nutzel. Topic: Torlo Hannes series. Warriors of Numas, 1969. Raiders of Numas, 1969. Slave Girl of Numas, 2007, with Heidi Garrett. Topic: <laughs> Lynn Carter. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Callisto series. Jander of Callisto, 1972. Black Legion of Callisto, 1972. Sky Pirates of Callisto, 1973. Mad Empress of Callisto, 1975. Mind Wizards of Callisto, 1975. Lanker of Callisto, 1975. Yolana of Callisto, 1977. Renegade of Callisto, 1978. Topic: <laughs> Green Star series. Under the Green Star, 1972. When the Green Star Calls, 1973. 
by the light of the green star 1974 as the green star rises 1975 in the green star's glow 1976 topic <laughs> mysteries of mars series the man who loved mars 1973 the Valley Where Time Stood Still 1974 The City Outside the World 1977 Down to a Sunless Sea 1984 Topic <laughs> Kenneth Bulmer writing as Alan Burt Akers and as Dre Prescott Topic: Dre Prescott series. Transit to Scorpio, 1972. The Sons of Scorpio, 1973. Warrior of Scorpio, 1973. Swordships of Scorpio, 1973. Prince of Scorpio, 1974. Manhounds of Antares, 1974. Arena of Antares, 1974. Flyers of Antares, 1975. Bladesman of Antares, 1975. Avenger of Antares, 1975. Armada of Antares, 1976. The Tides of Cregan, 1976. Renegade of Cregan, 1976. Crosshair of Cregan, 1977. Secret Scorpio, 1977. Savage Scorpio, 1978. Captive Scorpio, 1978. Golden Scorpio, 1978. A Life for Cregan, 1979. A Sword for Cregan, 1979. A Fortune for Cregan, 1979. A Victory for Cregan, 1980. Beasts of Antares, 1980. Rebel of Antares, 1980. Legions of Antares, 1981. Allies of Antares, 1981. Mazes of Scorpio, 1982. Delia of Valia, 1982. Fires of Scorpio, 1983. Talons of Scorpio, 1983. Masks of Scorpio, 1984. Seg the Bowman, 1984. Werewolves of Cregan, 1985. Witches of Cregan, 1985. Storm over Valia, 1985. Omens of Cregan, 1985. Warlord of Antares, 1988. Scorpio Reborn, Scorpio, 1991. Scorpio Assassin, Michael Mortar von Scorpio, 1992. Scorpio Invasion, Invasion von Scorpio, 1992. Scorpio Ablaze, Scorpio in Flamen, 1992. Scorpio Drums, Die Trommeln von Scorpio, 1992. Scorpio Triumph, Der Triumph von Scorpio, 1993. Intrigue of Antares, Die Intrigue von Antares, 1993. Gangs of Antares, Die Banditen von Antares, 1994. Demons of Antares, Die Daemonen von Antares, 1994. Scourge of Antares, Die Guile von Antares, 1994. Challenge of Antares, Die Fed von Antares, 1995. 
Wrath of Antares, Der Zorn von Antares, 1996. Shadows over Cregan, Shatten über Cregan, 1996. Murder on Cregan, Mord auf Cregan, 1997. Turmoil on Cregan, Auf Ruhr auf Cregan, 1997. Betrayal on Cregan, Verrat auf Cregan, 1998. Topic: Lee Bracket. Topic: Eric John Stark series. Eric John Stark, Outlaw of Mars, 1982. The Secret of Cinerot, 1964, revision of Queen of the Martian Catacombs, 1949. People of the Talisman, 1964, revision of Black Amazon of Mars, 1951. Enchantress of Venus, aka City of the Lost Ones, 1949. The Book of Scathe, 1976. The Ginger Star, 1974. The Hounds of Scathe, 1974. The Reavers of Scathe, 1976. Topic Other. The Sword of Rhiannon, magazine version. Sea Kings of Mars. Lorelei of the Red Mist with Ray Bradbury. Shadow over Mars. Equals 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 Gerard F. Conway writing as Wallace Moore. Equals equals equals. Topic: Balzon of the Cat People series. The Blood Stones, 1975. The Caves of Madness, 1975. The Lights of Zatar, 1975. Equals 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 Andrew J. Offutt equals equals equals. Ardor on Eros, 1973. Chieftain of Andor, aka Clansman of Andor, 1976. Topic: Mike Sirota. Topic: Danis Reglathium series. The Prisoner of Reglathium, 1978. The Conquerors of Reglathium, 1978. The Caves of Reglathium, 1978. The Dark Straits of Reglathium, 1978. Slaves of Reglathium. Topic: <laughs> Jack Vance. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Planet of Adventure. City of the Chash, 1968. Servants of the Wonk, 1969. The Dirter, 1969. The P. Numi, 1970. Topic: Del Dowdle. Warlord of Gondor, 1977. Spearman of Arn, 1978. Equals 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 David J. Lake equals equals equals. Topic Zuma series. The Gods of Zuma, 1978. Warlords of Zuma, 1983. Topic. Charles Allen Gramlich Topic Talera series 
Swords of Talera 2007 Wings over Talera 2007 Witch of Talera 2007 Topic Janet Morris Topic The Silistra series Topic Dan Simmons Topic Ilium, Olympos The Ilium, Olympos cycle has elements of this genre through staging the Trojan War myth on a far future terraformed planet Mars. <laughs> Animated cartoons Black Star TV series 1981 cartoon with many elements of the genre represented Masters of the Universe a media franchise while the protagonist of the series is not from earth his mother comes from earth The Pirates of Dark Water TV series 1991-1992 is a fantasy animated series produced by Hanna-Barbera